can't get on me. I might jump on the stage with a stick on me. Every corner back with me, got a pick on him. Every Glock in it big, got a dick on it. How you watching my live, won't click on it. I'm a butt on the roll and no tick on it. They ain't tell you about rule, I got a kick on me. I just pray that my dog don't switch on me. Reset game, what's happening? It's your boy GA, aka Gravitating Away. Um, a lot of us gotta gravitate away from the BS. More specifically, in this black culture, the young versus the old. So, I, if if you're familiar with what's been going on between Kai Sinat, Joe Budden, you know, all surrounding the Killer Mike's, you know, situation, winning three Grammys, we ain't talking about the arrest because we ain't trying to give no clout to that bullshit, but. This is how I feel about it. And as a matter of fact, before I go on that rant or commentary, let's go ahead and play some clips to realize where we are right now. First, I'm gonna drop Kai Sinat going off about Killer Mike winning the Grammys instead of Travis Scott and respecting him, his Utopia album. Then we'll go back and figure all of this out. I don't know who this is, okay? Egg hey, brother, God bless you. Congratulations. I don't know who you are. Positivity you. Praying for you, bro. Positivity out the window. Who who decided this mother? Who the f decided this Her loss? Utopia? <laughs> so you hear Kai Sinat's reasoning lack thereof <laughs> if you ask me lack thereof reasoning on his anger about Travis Scott not winning but Killer Mike I personally feel like it wouldn't have been such a big thing if you made it about your upset that you know Travis Scott didn't win but on the flip side you kind of shit it on a, another black man and Kai Sinat went on a rant about him being a 22 year old young dude with his own opinions but I'm tired of us making it look like, you know, the 22, 21's 20 is like that of a child. End of the day, you're still a man, meaning you're on a national platform, which your platform is, Kai. You would think you'll do the research to understand who Killer Mike is, what type of album he had that gave him those Grammys. And I haven't said this in a long time, but wow, like... If there's ever been a, such a thing as the Grammys getting it right, I challenge y'all to go listen to that album from start to finish, because there's no skips, by the way. That man delivered on that album. And before I carry on, I would like to play another clip of, dare I say, Killer Mike actually coming down from where he is, because I don't feel like he should ever have to explain his position, but... Killer Mike took the time because he do care about the young Kai, if you didn't know that. And Killer Mike responded. Let's check that out. I want to invite the cool streamers. I don't know nothing about streamer. Mm -hmm. I want to invite Kai out. Thank you for mm -hmm. saying what my name. Kai, I know, yeah. yeah, I know your guy. I know your guy and weird, but listen, I want to come to the room. I want to bring you a broom because Atlanta still <laughs> won. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> however, it, however it go, young player, just know I, I, I rock with you two and I'm cheering for all of us. You know yeah, what I mean? Because right, I, right. I think that from a cultural standpoint, this is the cult, this is the center of the black world culturally. Mm -hmm. And um, however, uh, whoever's winning, we winning. Yeah. So, you know, I just want to just tell him that, like... Yeah, I just I, blame it on the Gen Z when I when I watch the video. I ain't blaming it on nothing. Like, I love y'all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. if, 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 you, if, you know, if you ever get treated bad, I'm, I'm right there for you. You know what I mean? So, I know how I go, though. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I liked Luke and the Two Line Crew, my mama was more into salt and pepper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I get it, but I listen to both bands. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to just say the young people out there... It ain't nothing wrong with expanding. It ain't nothing wrong with trying something else. It ain't nothing wrong, you know, with, with just giving, you know, having, you don't have to be always in the crowd. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was a, a kid in the South. I listened to Ball and G. I listened to UGK when he was with Black Sabbath. And you have to become culturally rich, too. Mm. Like, I know the people that you watch and you like and they stream and you agree with them and they agree with you. That's a good feeling to be a part of that. But bring something else to the club. Be the person to say, let me turn you on to this. If you love Andre 3000, you should know who Portishead is. Well, why? Because Portishead affected Andre 3000 in 95, 96 in a way that radically changed the way he approached music. So you should always want to know what's the source of the source. Teach him. You know what I mean? So so I'm just saying, give, give a big bro a shot. If you don't rock with it, don't rock with it. But, um, you know, I won. 
and I'm going to win again, and I'm going to win again, <laughs> and I'm going to win again. Now, for Killer Mike, that was wholesome as it gets. Showed a lot of grace, maturity. This is a brother that really does a lot for his people, Kai. And I don't want to knock on you just because you're young, but Killer Mike said a lot of gems in his response. Killer Mike pointed out that he was young too, but mind you, he made sure he specified, although he was young, he made sure he reached out to other music that was there. Music the older folks was listening to because we're the centerpiece to all of that. You know, we're in the middle of this culture, meaning who's to say we should only listen to people our age? You venture out and you check out other tunes. There's nothing wrong with it. And Kai, I'm sure a lot of young people won't give you backlash because I get this new modern era we're in. It's like a lot of you younger folks can do no wrong, especially amongst your peers because you're very popular. And a lot of people are scared to branch out and be themselves, tap into other stuff. They follow the wave, follow the crowd. And to that perspective, a lot of you older people do that too, man. You never grew out of that high school stage of finding out who you are and being comfortable in your own lane. So I've seen some older folks siding with Kai Sinat just because of the fact this might get them views. It's a good look for them, for them big upping a younger dude. And it's not like if you disagree with Kai that you're, you know, downing the younger folks. It's the fact that Kai Sinat is a big voice, right? Number one, let's go back to what Killer Mike said. Atlanta won. More, more, more potent, he said, we won. We as black people, right? Kai didn't look at it like that. He was upset, rightfully so. One of his favorite artists, Travis Scott, didn't win album of the year for Utopia. Now, I checked out Utopia. Personally, I don't think the lyrics was hitting. But as far as the, the beats, etc., it was a great joint. But I don't think it was worthy that of Killer Mike's entire project. Mind you, Kai Sinat went on this rant, but didn't even check out to see who Killer Mike was. Check out the album itself to see why is this album garnering so many much attention to the point that it won Grammys. You know, this is the problem that I have in our community. Our young dismiss anyone else that's older as old. That word can be such a negative condensation because it's like, you know, you're not my age, you're so much older than me, so you have nothing to bring to the game. It's like we don't even value wisdom. We don't even value the, the worthiness of that. These are our elders who molded us into the paths that we're in. Like, for instance, the success that you're having, I'm sure it's, it plays a part into the hard work you've done, Kai. But you're not going to dismiss a lot of people that paved the way where you can react to hip hop music. That's the problem that I have with this culture. More specifically, your reaction to Killer Mike winning that Grammy instead of Travis Scott was not only dismissive, it came out as disrespectful. Which brings me to another point. And I hate to bring it to this, but this is very true. In general and universal, all young folks will always rebel or have an issue with older people, right? Whether it's parents, relatives, um, just people in society that are older, younger folks will have a somewhat of a rebellion. I won't say disrespect, but this prone ability or negative tendency, I should say, to kind of dismiss what older people are saying. But you'll never see other races, you know, publicly disrespect their, el their elders, especially their elders accomplishing things like the accolades Killer Mike had during Grammy night. You'll never see that. It's only black people that makes this war between young and old. And the younger folks got to get it together with this, man. If you are to dismiss everybody that's older than you just because of the fact of age differences, what does that make you when you reach our age? Yo, there's times I'm sitting around, I'm watching my children. I'm like, yo, I can't believe I made it this far. Knowing how many people that were my peers that are no longer here. And we, we don't got to get into that. Like, it's a... It's not, I wouldn't say miracle, it's a blessing to make it to these ages, but it's a weird stigma we have in the black community where it's like, let's just dismiss what everybody older is saying. Now, maybe some might not have liked how Joe Budden came off and said what he said, but this is a buildup of something that he loves. 
something that he watched growing up where we respected our elders in the game. Yeah, there was some conflict, there was some tensions, but for the most part, we respected our elders. Now it's like these younger folks feel like, you know, I got the money. It's like, I don't need to know who you are and even take the time to even listen to the album and figure out why did it get this Grammy? Look, I'm not trying to go on and on about this. I really want to know your opinion real quick. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell because this is what I do, man. I'm going to be dropping. But I just thought, Kai Sinat, if you don't understand why some people have backlash for you, you're on a public uh, platform. You represent so much in terms of your notoriety. And to have a, such a just lazy take like that on Killer Mike in a disrespectful manner, it said, it said a lot about your lacking of actually being whole as somebody that, you know, gives his professional opinion. This is, you're not just some random Joe, you know, on the internet talking about other people's projects. You're somebody of notoriety. So what you say can affect that. But I'm sorry, that album was so dope. There's nothing you or any of your young peers can say to take it away. And, you know, I would challenge not just the old, the young. Go check out that album, man. Killer Mike had something amazing that will last for eons. No offense to Utopia. Albums like that don't last, you know, into the realms of historical, monumental, you know, acclaim. It does not. And mind you, Travis, Travis Scott had better projects than Utopia, for the record. And I'm a Travis Scott fan. But look, it's okay to disagree. But when we make it about young versus old, I think it's disgusting. And I stand on this. You won't see too many other cultures and races disrespect their elders the way we do here in this Western Hemisphere, specifically the United States of America. The young folks here really have this disdain for even listening to what anybody, you know, that's older than, than them has to say. And some of the older folks do the same vice versa. But what I saw with Kai Sinai's take on Travis Scott not winning versus uh, Killer Mike winning his Grammys was a lazy take. And if you don't know who he is, take the time to go find out because I remember being your age, brother. And actually, I go even younger, middle school, high school. I always try to figure out who was what. I remember listening to a lot of golden oldies because they meant something to me. They're part of my people. Going back to Killer Mike's point in his response to you, Kai, you may not have liked that Travis Scott one, but Killer Mike won, meaning somebody that looks like you. You know, we won, but y'all don't look at it like that. But what say y'all, man? Let me meet y'all in the comment section. I want to see what y'all thoughts is on this because this is an interesting subject we don't broach enough. It's the young versus old to the point. It's not even like we're rebelling against one another. We're just completely at war and it's disgusting. Once again, you won't see many cultures, you know, speak about their elders in this manner. What say y'all? Mahalash.